Good day, guys. Being here、um, today, we're go- going to、uh, go through some of the comments we have here. So the first one is、uh, is this one. So we did a、um, s- some shade structure using slope ga- gla- glazing, and thank you am am rate f three one three four, and then、um, yes, we 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 can use profile. We can use profile to change the shape of mullions. So Let's do that. Let's do this.、Um, okay, so this is a f-、uh, the f- the f- the file. So you should be able to download this file from previous video.、Um, okay, so this is a system.、Uh, it's a mullion. So with sys-、uh, profile. So basically, it's a system mullion profile rectangular. So what we can do is we can create a new family. Go here. So profile. So We can use the profile mullion, so basically the same. But this template just tell you a little bit more about this,、um, what these reference are. Sorry, what these reference plans are. So, but I'm not. <laughs> to be honest, I, I'm not quite sure how how to do this profile. So, I'm going to just uh, uh, draw something here, and also. So this is、uh, the the plan. <laughs> this is the plan. So I'm going to change so from a rectangular shape. So these are fifty by one fifty. Okay, so fifty one fifty. I'm going to try try shape like this one fifty one fifty and two hundred. Okay. So now I'm going to do just do that. So、uh, let's just do fifty. Go up one fifty to the left two、uh, hundred and then finish it. And、um, not sure about、uh, where this need to be placed. I'm going to just roughly center, you know, center to this part of the profile, and then load this one into the, this project. Now select this、uh, mullion, unpin it, edit type, duplicate. I'm going to call it new. Okay, so okay, and then here profile. Change it to that family we just、uh, did. So click OK. Okay. So looks like、um, wrong direction. So we need to rotate it by one eighty degree. So go back to the profile. So、uh, you probably you、um, you can probably do here. So add that one eighty here. But ah、uh, uh, no no no. <laughs> You can't do that. Only、uh, between ninety and ne-、uh, negative ninety. So maybe we can just do it here. R O rotate space. Pick this point, one eighty, and load it back. Overwrite. And that's it. So now you can see. Um. Um. What's next? Okay. So the next step is because、uh, we don't want to manually unpin and change it. But because if it's a very long one, so you need to take a、uh, spend a lot, a lot of time to do that. So what I'm going to do is ping this back, okay, and then select this、uh, sloped glazing. Select select this one, edit type. So we just need to change one of the border. So here, so these are forty five degrees, which means this these are、uh, grid two. So it's either border one or border two. Let's guess. Uh, I guess it's border two. Change this one to new. Okay, that's right. So now you can see、uh, perfect. And only this p- bit, I think,、uh, you can you can manually change this.、Um, but I think we can probably、uh, change the setting of.、Um, Drawing condition because for this one it's not defined. So what I'm going to do is I'll try. I'll just CS create similar, and then create another one. I'll check the different slope, and something like this. Finish.、I'll、change it to this. Okay, so you can see it won't auto automatically change this. But what I'm going to do is let's control Z change to original、um, uh, setting. So. Edit type. So let's try some of this. So we want um, hang on. Which one should I try? 
I'm not sure. Let's there, there are four total of four. Let's try them. No, this one's not right. So you can see it will break this one. No. So we need um let's try grid border and grid one. Yeah, I think this one's better. So you can see automatically. So it's clean up all this corner and also it will break all these uh, grid two and with grid one continuous. And this is it. So let's try create another one. CS. Okay. And I'll just pick this one first. Uh, define slope unchecked. Create something like this. Finish. Perfect. Okay. So that's it. Um, okay. So this is it. Um, and let's have a look. And uh, hang on. Let me try and find it. Okay, I think it's it's a question or request from Benda. Uh, okay. Okay, so what Benda wants is uh, a family that follows a curved s shape or curved roof. So like, a, for example, a, a strip lighting on the roof. Um, let's try that. So actually what I suggest in 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 here uh, is to create an adaptive family and then uh, once we have um, a lot of points and then can follow the roof but uh, I just had a like um, some experiments but I don't think it's a good idea I'll explain why so first I'm going to create a roof that is organic shape so i'll just quickly create a mass reference and i'm going to use draw on word plan and onto ground floor a three point uh oops that's fine a three point uh ref, uh spline through points and i'll copy this now we have three uh spline through points create a form and then i just uh adjust just some points and then to make it interesting okay so this is it so now we can finish this mass and then go architecture roof roof by face pick this create roof and now we have a organic shape roof oh hell so what's going on here why so slow oh sorry <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> Uh, the, I, yeah. Instead of roof, I create use the sloped glazing, which is great. Ah, interesting. Anyway, so this is not what we are looking for. So let's change it back to normal roof. Okay, so and then I'll just copy this roof to here. So I'll just leave it there. Leave that mass there. So this is a roof, a curved roof. Right, and it's an organic shape. It's not a um, normal like a, uh, like a revolve or arc arc shape or uh, normal sh curved, but it's more like organic sh uh, curve. So um, let's try the method I mentioned in the comment. So which is um, create an adaptive family with uh, more points. So let's try five adaptive points, uh, create a spline through points, make this spline a reference line, place a point, draw on face, pl place onto the re re reference line. Uh, reference, I'll uh, use circle as a profile and use draw on word plan, set word plan. And then I'll just give it uh, um, maybe let's 30 radius. And then we can just select these two so profile and uh, path uh, I'm not going to make it parametric so one profile is, is enough and then we can load this one into that um, project so we can place it somehow we can try to place it on this roof right okay Okay, so it looks like we have some issue with the profile because <laughs> apparently 
one profile, it won't work. So uh, I'll just quickly, uh, let me close this one. We don't need this anymore. Um, okay, so it looks like, let, let me just dissolve this. Uh, hell. Uh, dissolve this. Oh, hell. So we have, yep. Uh, maybe, uh, sorry, control Z. So maybe delete it. Okay, yeah, delete it. So now we have this profile, one profile. I'll just copy and select this point, pick new host, and select this pro, uh, pro profile, this profile, and also this path, create a form. And then I'll just place this one to the end, type a zero. Uh, the point is no longer host. Uh, ah, what's this? Type zero. Yeah, what did I type? <laughs> anyway, so type one. So now we have this one. So two profile sweep. Load this back, overwrite. So this will should fix this. So now let's have a look. It's actually quite good. So you can see uh, it almost uh, perfect. It's almost perfect. But you can tell from this angle. You can see this is a little bit outside and this is you know inside the roof so it's not perfect okay almost um i'll just quickly try another one so i'll just cs create a similar so maybe i'll just try this something like this okay and you can tell at some point it won't work it will break so when, when you see this symbol, it, say, it means it will break if you place this point here. But if you move up here, so we're trying to create it. And then I think it should be fine. So yeah, sometimes it will give you that symbol, but uh, uh, most, um, it only like, a, it won't work if the last one, so depending on the last one, I think, so it's still working, right? So it's still working, still working, still working. Yeah, looks like okay. So let's just finish it here. So now you can see this is more, uh, you know, you can see not, 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 it's not perfect. It's not good here. Okay. Apparently this method can work, but um, also can be um, problematic. So depending on the shape of the roof or yeah, the curve, yeah so now i'm going to show you an, another method okay so i'll copy this roof here so another method is instead of create an adaptive family we create a model in place one so very similar so let's go model in place mass m okay and then so use, I'll just use reference line, use a spline through points. And also this is the most important part. So follow surface. Now we can just create a spline through points. And now you can see this spline through points will be placed onto this surface, onto this roof. So if we, we place a point, draw on face, onto this, a circle, work plan, set work plan, pick the work plan, and make it like 30, and then select these two, create, and that's it. So this is this will be perfectly placed, fit onto this roof. All right? So, and then you can give it a material, and that's it. Very simple. Okay, let's 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 try it again. Model in place. Mass. Okay. Okay. Reference. So you can also use line with surf, uh, follow surface. So you can see if I draw a line, it will be uh, it will will not be a straight line. It will be a curved line that uh, follow the roof. And then point draw on face and uh, a profile circle. Draw on work plan, set work plan, and that's it. 
Okay. Um, and uh, sometimes, uh, let me just finish. Uh, I'll just do another one. Sometimes um, you might find it won't work when you're trying to uh, try to draw the so try to draw uh, a profile onto um, onto the work plane of the point. So you can see. Uh, oh, actually, I'm mean, having this issue now. Circle draw on work plan set work plan. So you can see I can't. I can't pick the word plan. So when this happens, use wireframe WF. Okay, let's do it again. Circle, draw on word plan, set word plan. Now you can pick this word plan. Okay. This happens. Some, sometimes this happens. So use wireframe. So if you use hidden line, so you won't be able to pick. So you can see. Yeah. Change to wireframe, or you can just go here, wireframe, and circle, set. Now you can do it. Create form, and that's it. Okay, change to hidden line, HL, or shade, SD. Uh, um, they, uh, they are transparent, translucent, because uh, the default the default uh, mass materials is uh, DEFAUOT mass. It's a trans trans. Oh, hang on, where is it? Default mass. Default form, I think. F O I M. Yes. So because this is a transpa transparent, translucent material. So if you change this back to a solid material, so it will be. Oh, what's going on here? Beautiful. Or you can just uh, give it a different material here. And this is it. Um, I hope this uh, helps. And also thanks for the um, the comments for uh, from everyone. And if yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, ideas, or better solutions, please let me know. Um, I will, um, yeah, maybe I'll up upload this family, oh, sorry, project, so you can download and have a, have a look. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. What's going on here? <laughs> anyway. <laughs>